Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your monthly love, career and finance and health and wellness horoscope forecast for March. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to all my members for all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. And if you look at personal reading with me or you would like to uh, get a pre-order of my new Oracle deck, it's at jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. Um, please remember these are general messages. You can check your moon, your rising, or your sun sign for more information. So guys, if you like it this new way, please hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, let's jump right in. What's going on with my Cancer's Romantic Love Life? What's going on with my Cancer's Career and Finance? Give me nine cards for my Cancer's Romantic Love Life. Give me six cards for their Career and Finance. For the time period of the month of March, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on my Cancer's Romantic Love Life? What's going on my Cancer's career and finance? Give me nine cards for my Cancer's romantic love life. Give me six cards for the career and finance for the month of March. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. And how does my Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about, how does my Cancer's love interest feel about them romantically? Give me two cards for how my Cancer's love interest feels about them. Give me one card of advice. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so let's lay this down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then the career and finance. One, two, three, four, five, six. Feelings. Whoa. Okay. All right. Interesting. Okay. Give me a moment here to just tune in. All right. So I feel like what's going on here for you guys, I feel like someone really wants to hold on to you, okay? And they've been doing some um, heavy choices here with the Two of Pentacles energy. There's been juggling happening here about it or back and forth kind of energy, like what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? And you really fulfill their wishes here, okay? They really, really uh, fulfill their desires here. Um, they have a sense that you're a part of their wish and their hope or some spiritual connection. They're trying to be hopeful about things, okay? We see the Two of Pentacles energy shows me that you have this heavy choice, so they're trying to make a heavy choice here. And why is the Two of Pentacles here? Because they have a sense that there's something to do with stability and stableness or something that they have a sense that there's something stuck. And they want to hold on to you for success for Pentacles energy. They're ready for some kind of change or they want to move towards you because we got the ship card energy, something to do with travel, long distance situation happening. They want to fulfill their desires when it comes to you because we have the nine of cups energy, okay? And again, we have the store card energy coming out here, which can represent changing from one location to another location, okay? Because of the fact that we have the ship next to the store and we also have an anchor, right? I feel like some of you guys are dealing with a situation where there's a long distance relationship and you know what? There's been some going back and forth about, man, I really want to move closer to cancer. You know, I want to be with them. I want to hold on to them. I, they, they fulfill my wishes here. They're, they're everything I want. And it looks like there's this person's like trying to like weigh that choice. Like I feel stuck. I need, I need to travel towards them. I want to hold on to them. I want to be with them. I want some change here to happen. Positive change improvements in our situation. I want to put the worker effort into this. And we have the eight card energy. I have these choices and options that I'm really weighing here. Okay. So they're trying to be hopeful about things with the star card energy. You're part of their wish and their hope here with the star card energy. And yeah, there's a sense of luck or a risk here, right? Or they feel like, wow, I was so lucky to find this connection, but now it's like a luck with a catch. 
and it's causing some arguments and disputes here with the five of wands energy um you know it's like challenges around this when it comes to this opportunity here we go with the key card energy and the sense of i feel stuck stagnant right with the the because i got to be so patient here with the lily's card energy so i feel like for you guys i feel like there is someone who is like wanting to be with you they want to hold on to you they've been weighing these choices they want to travel towards you they want these changes and improvements but they've been stuck there's been arguments and disputes about this opportunity of being patient and it's like almost like man there's some kind of risk when it comes to this opportunity or this this being patient or this wise energy about you know i want to see this from a new way and a new perspective i want to get unstuck from this energy okay so let's see how this person your love interest feels about you they feel like you really surprise them you really shock them this is the tower card energy for my deck okay so you really surprise them you really shock them you really took them by surprise it gave them such a breakthrough because they want to commit to you this person i feel like wants to marry you okay we got the ring card energy there was really something surprising to them and they're like you know what i really would like to commit to cancer i want to commit to engage in marriage here so your advice is to do this deep, heavy soul search and really search within yourself to see if this is truly what you want. Isolate yourself and, and do that deep, heavy soul searching. Reveal these things within you and see if this is what you want. Okay? Yeah, because you, you can see you need to gain clarity because there's uncertainty here. And let's pull one more card and focus on healing and recovery. So a lot of times what happens with us is because we get hurt from the past, you know, it leaves us in a situation. Do I really want to move forward in a situation to get hurt again? So you need to focus on that healing and recovery and gain that clarity and do that deep, heavy soul searching within yourself here because you do have an opportunity, but there's arguments and disputes or challenges around this. All right. And because this person really wants to hold on to you and they're ready for this change, right? Improvements because they feel stuck here. All right. So four of wands is saying marriage, long term commitment. And this person, a person card's coming out, marriage, long term commitment and ten of pentacles. This person's in it for the long haul here. Ten of Pentacles energy. They want a sense of completion. There's the bouquet card. You really surprised them. You really, it was something unexpected to them. Marriage and long-term commitment here. Family, right? And this defensive energy. Am I going to get hurt? Am I going to get hurt? Because it's something to do with an ending, stopping, or completion. I feel like... This is something that's really surprising to you. It's really shocking to you that this person wants to, to have a long-term situation with you, but you're like, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to get hurt. Maybe I should end, stop, or complete this because, you know, or take a break from this because you're like, I'm defensive. I don't want to get hurt here. So we see there's something stuck around this opportunity because something to do with wanting to stop, end, or complete. And why? Because there's this choice being made that's causing arguments and disputes, which is making somebody feel really defensive here. And it's like... I have desire this for this change, but there's challenges, arguments about an opportunity because of marriage and long-term commitment when it comes to this person. They're trying to be hopeful about things, uh, but they feel stuck and they're hoping that luck is on their side or they feel like there's some kind of luck with a catch and they're trying to be patient around the situation. Let's see. So coming back to your advice, do this deep, heavy, give yourself that time to do some deep, heavy soul searching, gain the clarity that you need. And you know what? Prayers can help you with this situation when it comes to healing and recovery. Because this person really has a huge breakthrough when it comes to you and they do want to commit to engage or marriage with you. Okay. This person does want to marry you. Okay. All right. Now, if you guys like this, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. We are going to now move on to your career and finance. So we have the eight of pentacles energy. Eight of Pentacles can be school or work, all right, school or work, or um, educating yourself uh, because you had this sense of loss, or some of you went back to school because you felt like you were being left out in the cold, you had the sense of loss, okay, or you decided to focus really, really heavily on work and really put a lot of effort into this because you've been dealing with a lot of loss or been feeling like left out in the cold when it came to your situation when it came to career and finance, right? Tree cards coming out. There's a sense of healing. And you know what? You feel like someone's been deceptive here in the situation with the Fox card energy, or you've been like trying to be very intelligent about your career in finance. We have the Three of Cups energy. There seems to be some socializing or friendship here with the Three of Cups energy and a sense of joy that is really making you happy here around your situation. But you are trying to gain clarity here with the Ace of Swords energy. And what are you trying to gain clarity about? What you've been confused about? 
And what have you been confused about? You've been confused about this work situation, the school situation, and how to focus on healing and recovery because you've been feeling a bit defeated here with the Five of Swords energy, or you're feeling defeated here with the Five of Swords energy about what? About this stress. This has been eating away at you. And you have this new opportunity you feel passionate about here with the Ace of Wands energy, and it really fulfills your wishes here with the Star card energy. Great. So considering all this, like, okay, for some of you, you went back to school and because you had the sense of loss. So you felt like this really brought you a sense of, you know, being able to grow your roots and have a sense of healing here. You uh, feel like someone wasn't being honest with you about this being left out in the cold or the sense of loss. And you had the celebration or friendship or you socialized here that really made you happy because it gained you an opportunity and clarity around this confusion that you've been having and like kind of blew it away here. So you see the clouds card, you see it's been clearing the air there for you. And then the five of swords energy shows me there's this defeated energy which has been stressing you out. Should I stand up and fight? Should I walk away? and you have this new opportunity coming in for you. Something, something you feel really passionate about that's gonna fulfill your wishes here with the star card energy. So yes, there's a lot of complications going on here with your situations, but yes, you've had some confusions here, but through the socializing, networking that you did here, you revealed some things about the situation that was causing you this stress. Okay, because you were just defeated about should I stand up and fight? Should I walk away? But then this opportunity comes along here. Ace of Wands energy. It's passionate opportunity. It's creative opportunity. And you're like, whoa, this really fulfills my wishes here. So what's the confusion about? This healing and recovery and the stress. And what's this happiness about? It's about this strategic energy or the sense of loss because now you have this new opportunity that you feel passionate about that fulfills your wishes here. Hmm. So yes, you've gone through it or you're going through it, but by, it looks like the end of the month here, Ace of Wands is saying you're gonna have this new opportunity you're gonna feel passionate about that you're gonna have to think about and contemplate here. If we look at this healing, because of strategic energy about your happiness or revealing some things that have been confusing you, that have been eating away at you around your wishes and your hopes here. We see that the eight card energy is putting the work or effort into a change because you had more than one choice or option and an opportunity which caused change into a new opportunity. So you guys had a couple of different opportunities but you had to gain clarity about it. And actually you found out that, you're gonna find out that there's this opportunity that's really gonna fulfill your wishes and it's a very passionate, creative opportunity. Okay, so now let's move into your health and wellness here, Cancer. Can I have some advice for my Cancer's health and wellness? Show me the cards that you can see. Show me the cards that you can see. Okay, so it's a time to focus on eating organic foods here. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you like this, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Guys, I will see you in another day or two. Try to enjoy the rest of your month, and I will see you soon.